Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Luckily, the um, the storms themselves have really not been all that strong today for us in East Texas. We've had a few showers and thunderstorms in deep East Texas, but as we look outside in our northern areas, this is looking from downtown Tyler to the north atop the Plaza Tower. Lots of sunshine around, so we will certainly take that and it feels a lot better. We only have a heat advisory out for two East Texas counties and they happen to be Houston and Trinity County where we're seeing those heat index values anywhere from about 105 to 110 degrees. Here's part of the reason why. First and foremost, temperatures are cooler. Upper 80s and lower 90s, dew points in the 60s and 70s, but a little warmer as I mentioned in our southwestern counties. Crockett, the dew point is at 81 and that makes it feel hot. 108 degree feels like temperature there in Crockett and then we're in the middle to upper 90s a little further off to the north and that's how it feels. So future cast a few passing clouds through the next few hours. However, I do think early tomorrow morning we'll see a better chance of showers and thunderstorms. So last night I actually woke up to the sound of thunder. I think it was at about 330 in the morning. That's because there was a small thunderstorm over the Tyler area and the same can happen tonight, but it could happen a little bit later. Six, seven o'clock in the morning, showers and thunderstorms out to our west. Most of East Texas remaining dry at that point, and then the storms move from northwest to southeast. That's how the storms move when you have a northwest flow pattern as we just discussed. This is one o'clock. Still some scattered showers and thunderstorms there. They move off to the south and to the southeast. We have breaks in the clouds by six o'clock and that should be it for the rainfall for a little while after that, especially for Saturday and Sunday where I've got sunshine in the forecast. But marginal risk of severe weather does exist over our western and southwestern counties, so we will continue continue to monitor that. However, gusty winds, maybe some pocket change hail and some of the strongest storms. But as I mentioned before, not everybody will see a severe thunderstorm. 74 overnight tonight. High temperatures tomorrow afternoon will be in the lower 90s. And as we look at the next seven days, uh, we are forecasting high temperatures to start tiptoeing towards those triple digit temperatures by Wednesday and next Thursday. You can see that on your screen right there. Plenty of sunshine around low temperatures are forecasted to be in the middle to upper 70s. And as we look at deep east Texas, we could reach those triple digits as early as Tuesday of next week, but we will be tracking those showers and thunderstorms tomorrow in the meantime. Neil Casey. Thank you, sir.